हेलो एवरी वन अ वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू अडा ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन इंग्लिश मीडियम दिस इज आरुषी ओवर हेयर एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट नमस्ते प्रोजेक्ट सो वॉट इज दिस नमस्ते प्रोजेक्ट यू ऑल मस्ट बी अवेयर अबाउट द सैनिटेशन वर्कर्स यू ऑल सी देम डेली इफ यू लिव इन अ सिटी यू ऑल सी देम पीपल क्लीनिंग द रोड्स पीपल देर आर मैन होल्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट सो बेसिकली दिस वर्क दिस काइंड ऑफ जॉब इज एक्चुअली अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल right the constitution of india the supreme court has also imposed a ban on manual scavenging under article 21 stating that every single citizen of india has a right to sustainable and dignified means of livelihood and also a dignified life all right so uh, in this note a lot of legislative actions have also been taken place and recently ministry of social justice and empowerment in collaboration with ministry of housing and urban affairs has launched the namaste project so let us understand the details of this project here you can see naye bharat ka naya elan machine se safai suraksha va samman so basically swachhta suraksha aur samman is the threshold uh, samman is actually the center stage of this particular project now talking about the ministry of social justice and empowerment uh has also informed that as many as 971 sanitation workers have lost their uh lives in the process of sanitation while they were performing their job on duty that is the horrendous act of manual scavenging all right and even in 1993 also legislative actions uh, were taken place but to implement to ensure grassroots implementation through a three tier system and ensure that the sanitation workers okay they, even if they are involved in this sanitation worker they they are equipped with a protective gear so you can see this man in the picture he is wearing shoes a proper dress gloves a proper mask that prevents the bad odor from entering his lungs because bad odor fall odor it can also be intoxicated with chemicals cause diseases and all of that then what you cannot see is also another protective gear that is a gear that covers your eyes and your head so the even if the person is involved in manual scavenging he or she has to be equipped and needs to wear fully protective gear from head to toe okay so everything is ensured now talking about the namaste project it's it stands for national action for mechanized sanitation ecosystem that is namaste it is basically an initiative that ensures the safety <coughs> of sanitation workers it ensures the safety of sanitation workers so uh, yes as the name suggests mechanized sanitation ecosystem राइट सो एज यू कैन सी स्वच्छता सुरक्षा एंड सम्मान मशीन से होगी सफाई सो नॉट ओनली प्रोटेक्टिव एंड सेफ्टी गियर बट ऑल्सो इट इट इज इट विल बी इंश्योर्ड दैट ओके दे आर ऑल्सो दे ऑल्सो हैव अ सर्टन मशीनरी दैट कैन हेल्प देम टू डील विद द प्रोसेस राइट टू क्लीन सो लेट एस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द वेरी वेरी बेसिक की फीचर्स ऑफ द स्कीम नंबर वन बींग इट इज अ सेंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम वॉट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय अ सेंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम दैट इट इज वन हंड्रेड परसेंट फंडेड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ओनली स्टेट गवर्नमेंट नीड नॉट प्रोवाइड एनी फंडिंग फॉर दिस सो द फंडिंग फॉर दिस स्कीम विल बी कमिंग फ्रॉम टू मिनिस्ट्रीज दैट इज द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ सोशल जस्टिस एंड द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स these are the two important launch ministries of the scheme it has been approved for 4 years 2022 23 2025 26 right so funding will be provided for 4 years and it will be first implemented across 500 amrut cities okay implemented and also time to time uh, enumeration kiya jayega uh, they will be it will be enumerated to see whether the implementation of the scheme is taking place or not okay eventually it will merge with uh and replace the existing srms scheme what is the sr self employment scheme for rehabilitation of manual scavengers it was started off in the year 2007 <clears throat> now often the launch ministry is the key implementing authority over here the key implementing authority of this particular project is the national safai karmachari finance and development so this is the key implementing agency of this particular scheme and not only this to ensure grassroots uh, level implementation 
so the scheme will be implemented through a three tier structure so at the topmost level we have the national safai karamchari financial development corporation at the state level we have the state management groups at the city level we have the city management groups that will ensure the implementation of the scheme that will raise the loans of capital uh, machinery installation on behalf of the subsidiaries that are registered with the city man management group what do you mean by that basically it means that suppose there is a particular city suppose uh, let us take the example of new delhi only so in new delhi under this particular organization there will be a city management group that comes under the new delhi division and in the new delhi division there will be various subdivisions for example you have uh, nc new delhi is divided into various uh, say districts you have karol bag you have rajiv chowk and so on and so forth right so all the safai karamcharis all the safai karamcharis will be organized into those subdivisions and each subdivision will raise a demand it will raise a demand that okay we need say suppose 1000 safety gears say suppose uh, we need uh, 200 uh, capital machinery in this particular area so collectively they will raise a demand and submit it with the city management group the city management group will raise will raise a loan for the capital machinery uh, installation and the loan will be subsidized first of all the capital amount will be shared by the government of india and the interest that will be payable on the loan will be subsidized and not only groups but also an individual beneficiary an individual beneficiary can also raise such a demand so suppose there is a safai karamchari who wants protective gear who want capital equipment so he or she can also raise a loan on his own pay personal behalf and that will also be shared by the government of india let us understand more clearly capital subsidy will be provided up to 5 lakh on sanitation machinery that costs up to 15 lakh so suppose the sanitation machinery ka cost hai around 15 lakh so a uh, half the cost will be shared by the government say suppose to the extent of 5 lakh the cost will be shared by the government right and whatever the remaining amount is so over here for example the remaining amount over here is 10 lakh on this 10 lakh say suppose 8% interest is payable If eight percent interest is payable, so interest rate will be capped by the government of India, right? That is the beneficiary who has to pay an interest of four to six. Uh, say suppose eight percent will or have to pay a maximum interest rate of four to six percent, and whatever the remaining rate of interest that is there, that is four percent interest rate or two percent or three percent interest rate is there, that will be borne by the government of India. all right and all the sanitation workers all the safai karamcharis who are involved in manual scavenging they will receive a stipend of up to rupees 3000 per worker and suppose they are not interested suppose they are very very poor and the only occupation the only choice they had was a manual scavenging and they do not want to continue it then they will also get the benefit of getting trained free free of cost training to the sanitation workers if they do not want to get involved in the sanitation industry they will be uh, trained in alternative occupations i think this is the most beautiful part of the scheme <coughs> they will be trained in agriculture they will be trained in services electronics operations and maintenance so on and so forth all right so over here you can see a little bit detailed about the project sharing the costing so women beneficiaries need not pay an interest rate any more than 4% maximum interest rate for women beneficiaries is 4% for rest of the beneficiaries it is 5% if the project costs 10 lakh or below right if the project costs more than uh, say suppose 10 lakh then the interest rate per annum is 6% and rest of the interest rate will be paid by the government of india now as far as the individuals are concerned that was the interest rate for project cost that the city management groups will be raising on behalf of collective beneficiaries now for individuals up to 5 lakh 50% of the project cost will be borne by the government capital equipments costing between 5 to 15 lakh 2.5 lakh will be borne by the government and 25% of the remaining project cost <clears throat> say suppose a project is costing 10 lakh right so 2 2.5 lakh is also borne by the government and 25% of this that is uh 
the remaining project cost will be 7.5 lakh and 25% of this remaining project cost that is one fourth of this particular project cost will be borne by the government again <coughs> so you can just calculate it and find it out again um, it is a very very interesting scheme you should know all these details the more detailed oriented you are the accuracy will obviously increase in the examination so uh, per beneficiary if the amount is say suppose 10 lakh if the amount is uh, 10 lakh per beneficiary the maximum project cost will be the maximum project cost will be 50000 okay another important uh, fact that you should know is some of the key initiatives that have been taken by the government of india to tackle this manual scavenging they include the 1993 act they include srms scheme and then they also include the prohibition of employment as manual scavenging and rehabilitation what is the ultimate objective of this particular scheme is to attain zero fatalities to ensure that work is being uh, done by skilled workers anyone who is unskilled in sanitation has a very very high risk on duty so only people who are skilled thoroughly skilled in this job should perform it absolutely no direct contact with human fecal matter and also also people who are skilled who have a lot of experience they can run their own enterprises and for that enterprise only this loan purpose the tables that we discussed the loan and the capital subsidy that the government is providing it is for this purpose only and also alternative source of livelihoods is also one of the key objectives of the scheme so this was the namaste project in brief for all of you i hope i hope the session was useful thank you so much and let me tell you a double validity is going on on all the courses that are available on adda 24 7 so make sure that you download the adda 24 7 application that is available both on android available both on android as well as the ios devices you can use the code y580 and uh, you will get a discount of how much 78 percent you will get a discount of 78 percent okay so thank you so much thank you so much for watching this thank you take care see you in the next class and bye bye